Hey folks, welcome to Maverick Gunworks channel. Um, this time I'm going to talk about something that uh, probably not a lot of folks have seen maybe, and maybe we can enlighten you a little bit, but right now we've got a project came in a couple weeks ago that we're going to start on that uh, is bring back to life this Colt 1911 uh, handgun. So what we have here is the, the customer has brought in the gun that has the, they had just a stripped down frame and the slide. And this is an old uh, military version. And what we have on this, I'm just out of curious, I don't know when the gun thing was made, but I know that the, the last patent on this was August of 1913. So it definitely is a, an old gun. And on the, uh, on the right hand side of the gun here, we've got Colt Automatic Caliber 45. Has the original little uh, government issue sights on it. And we've been taxed with um, putting all the parts back in it and getting it going again. And if we get it, get it, we're gonna make sure we have it functional uh, first, and then we'll we'll look at uh, possibly re-bluing or ceramic coating, something like that. But anyway, I wanted to show you a couple things that we've, we've gonna be doing here. When the gun came in, uh, the uh, somebody had put parts in it, but it was not functional. It would not, the, the hammer would not cock, seal would not engage, safety wouldn't work. So we just, we took everything out of it, and then we'll go back through a little bit of time and fit everything properly. And on 1911, uh, when we've got a project like this, everything almost has to be hand fitted because you know, the gun is 100 years old and these are brand new parts we're putting back in it. And uh, sometimes all the, the specs may not be exactly the same. And anyway, even with 1911, almost any of 1911, you have to uh, fit the safety lever to the sear and to the uh, hammer um, to make it work anyway. But anyhow, a couple of things I noticed right to start with, the uh, little channel here, the tunnel where your spring uh, detents go for the uh, takedown lever and for the safety detent, this was not staked in. It just fell off when I took the gun apart. So we were able to, I uh, actually have, we have the tools here to be able to do that. We staked this on permanently now. Um, another thing we noticed that when I removed the grips from it, the, <laughs> the grip bushings came out of the frame. And uh, we again, we'll take, take these bushings out, put them back in here and stake them properly so that they'll stay in the frame. You can just take the screws out next time. Um, let me see what else. There's uh, going to be some fitting, I know, with some tension on the, the three-leaf spring, you know, for your, your trigger, your safety, and your, uh, your sear kind of thing. The, uh, even the... Uh, even the ejector part this it's this into the frame, you know, it's not staked in. We'll take care of that. It just falls out. Um, what else here? I know that the, the, sa the safety, uh, your grip safety tabs have to be fitted to the, uh, you know, the, the trigger and the other safety parts that are in the gun. And we'll have to do all that as we go. Um, and usually I'll end up taking these things out multiple times to get it fitted right. We'll follow a little bit. We'll see where it, where it needs it at. Uh, we'll put some indicator, some, some dicum or uh, uh, some indicator fluid on it so we can see where it's touching at and where it needs to be filed away to make it fit properly. Um, anyway, that's kind of my two cents about it. We'll get, uh, get to work on this. I'll try to document some of this as we go a little bit, but this is an introduction at least to what we're going to be doing this gun. It's going to be an interesting project to make it work again, I believe. <clears throat> so I hope, we'll, hope we can make it work and uh, may not be a... a precision bullseye gun like it uh, like you might want to be but it's not meant to be we're trying to restore uh, and, and preserve a piece of history here uh, anyhow I um, hope this helps you a little bit if you're if you have an interest in the, the old 1911 stuff be aware that there are a, a lot of things that you can do with these but but when you start with a stripped down plain old frame just a frame a barrel and a slide you can buy all the other parts to make a functional gun again but it's going to take some work, it's going to take some, some specialty tools to be able to put these things together and also some time to, to fit the, part, the parts properly. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll try to keep you informed as we go the next few weeks. We'll make some more shots of this and, and show some progress on it. Alright, thanks for watching. 